is it worth buying cheap lipos? Well, I've seen a lot of communication, a lot of discussion on Facebook and various forums about what battery should I run in my Traxxas UDR? What should I run on my X Max? Is it worth buying a cheap lipo? Do you spend a bit more on the expensive ones? Well, we've done some tests here on those exact batteries. We've got the Traxxas three cell. These are all three cell lipos. We've got the Traxxas ones, which retail around about 60 to 70 pound a pack. So you're looking at about 120, 130 for a pair to run in a UDR or similar. We've then got these um, gold, gold bat ones, which are about 60 to 65 pound a pair. And these are a similar price, about 60 to 65 pound a pair. So they're about half the price. Uh, these ones you can get from eBay, Amazon and the likes, uh, and they're considerably cheaper than the Traxxas ones. So what we're gonna do is we have done a charge on them, a 10 amp charge rate on them, and measured the internal resistance. Now the internal resistance, for anyone who doesn't know, is how, how much punch you'll get from the battery. A lower internal resistance will give you more punch. Also, if a battery's internal resistance starts to rise, it can mean it's starting to fail. And then what we've done is we've done a 20 amp discharge on these batteries to see what the runtime's like, to see how long the car will run. Now, I made this mistake when I got my first uh, Traxxas UDR. You've got to be very careful in what size LiPo you put in them. These ones fit in it perfectly. These ones, you'll never get to fit in it. They are 38 mil deep. You need something to get in the standard 25 mil deep like these. These ones, are 30 mil deep and with a modification you can actually get an extra 10 mil of clearance on the UDR battery box. We've designed and printed a, a new battery cover or battery case clamp down uh, item which gives you an extra 10 mil so you can run these batteries and it gives you that extra clearance and we'll do a video on how we've done that so people can can use that if they want. So a little rundown on the batteries. The milliamps on them, which is the large number, that is the capacity of them. They're all round about 5,000. The gold bat ones are slightly more, but that's only what's printed on there. The C rating on there is a little bit misleading because the Traxxas has a wealth of information on there. As you can see, it's got 25 C sustained, which means it can deliver 125 amps, or suppose 125 amps through the whole of its discharge cycle, and 50 C bursts. So when you accelerate away quickly, it would actually deliver up to 250 amps. These ones are a little bit um, devoid of some of this information. They've just got 50C and 60C. Now I'm pretty sure that that's not constant. That is just the burst rating. So they're about a similar, similar performance to these theoretically. One thing to consider, always label up your batteries so you know which one's which. It's not so bad when you've got a pair of them, but it's always handy to know which is A and which is B. So we've done a charge and a discharge on them, and these are the figures. They're quite consistent between each pack, so I'm quite confident that we haven't got a rogue LiPo there or a, a extremely good one, because they do vary a little bit. As you can see, the Detraxus pack comes in, they're delivering about 4,800 milliamps, very close to their rated figures. So that's pretty good. You're gonna get good runtime out of them. The gold bat ones only come in at about 3,003, 3,400 milliamps. So that's about two thirds the runtime. You're not gonna get anywhere near as much runtime with them. And the Awanthi, they're a similar figure. They're three sixes and three eights. So they're of a similar runtime. So you're not gonna get the runtime. So what runtime will you get? Well, I think on the Traxxas 5000s, depending on how you're driving them, you'll get about 20 minutes perhaps. On these other packs, you're not gonna get anywhere near that with them being considerably lower than their rated figures, you know, they should still be coming in at a similar figure to that 5,000 milliamps that they're rated at. But they're not, they're, they're well under, they're nearly 1,600, 1,500 milliamps less than that. So they're not gonna give you anywhere near the performance, but they're half the price. So you could have two packs of them and for the same price as the Traxxas, and you'd probably get a similar runtime. What the life expectancy of these is gonna be like, I don't know, but they're cheaper. So you get what you pay for to do to the end of the day. And of course, you've got to make sure they'll fit in the car that you're trying to put them in. So I hope that was 
some interest. If there's anything else you want me to uh, look at on the LiPo side of things or the, the car side of things, just drop a message. If you can hit that like and subscribe button so we can try and grow the channel and do more of these videos, that would be much appreciated. Thanks very much.